Hey guys, so today I'm talking about my thoughts on the recent situation with the University of Minnesota purposely adding comments to the Linux kernel that not only were buggy, but were filled with security exploits, and why this is just the tip of the iceberg. So as I said before, they were adding comments to the Linux kernel that had security exploits in them. They say that they were simply researching to see when the Linux Foundation noticed, and oh boy, they have noticed now. They have banned anyone at the University of Minnesota from pushing to the Linux kernel. But the problem is, there are already versions of the Linux kernel out in the wild that have these exploits in them. Potentially, there are some Billy Big Bucks companies that have this running, and ignoring the ethical questionability of this, if these Billy Big Bucks companies get hacked, they will send their small army of lawyers after the university. I'm just dumbfounded by how stupid they were. Why did they do this so much, and why use security exploits instead of just small easter eggs that do stuff like pop up a message box saying something like I got you or something is just so incredibly stupid. Now, another thing is that I feel bad for the guys at um, the Linux Foundation because they're having to go through their their uh, comment or git comment list and find you know all the different comments in the last four or five months and reverse them all, reverse all the ones that were submitted by the University of Minnesota, and also make sure that it doesn't break anything else, because as anyone who works on any programming project knows, um, if there is something, if you have to get rid of a git comment from a couple months back, uh, it's going to break some things. <laughs> It's going to break some things, and they are going to have to stay up trying to figure out how this works, because this can't stay out there for long. If it stays out there for long, something something's going to happen that's that no one is going to like. <laughs> you know, eventually someone is going to get hacked, and no one wants to be the one that gets hacked. So, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to go through all the comment lists and fix it all. And the other thing is they're going to have to push the updates, too. Because they're going to have to push updates to everyone running Linux. And it's going to be an urgent update. I mean, the, now that Hacker's Notes is out there, what do you think they're going to do? It's it's pretty much a it's pretty much a ready ready to go hack, you know. You don't even have to be a hacker, you just have to have some knowledge of computers and you could probably pull it off. So they're going to have to really, really hurry and push this out there. But the problem is that, unlike Windows, where Microsoft can just force you to install an update, Linux... Linux just kind of... Linux is very user-respecting user in that they really... Um, They just don't, um, they don't do, th they don't do stuff like that. They let the users install the updates when they want to, and I have a feeling this is actually going to go against them here, because they need this update on, on as many computers as they can, um, ASAP. Um, so that is not going to work for them. That's going to work against them. And another thing is that um, they're, I feel bad for them because they're going to have to do all this work to push it out there. I mean, think about it. They're probably going to have to go through, fix all the comments, like I said. But only that, they have to get it out there so fast, it's probably not going to have the usual testing it has, you know? Before each, I'm assuming that before each, um, each release of the Linux kernel, that it goes through some pretty rigorous testing, considering it, it's the Linux kernel. But, you know, they can't do that now. I mean, they can't. They're in a big rush. They're in a hurry. They can't do this. Um, yeah. I'm just glad they got banned from, from, uh, from adding more git comments because we all know they're probably going to try to do this more and this is just the begin this is just the tip of the iceberg i mean 
they, they said they're doing this to multiple open source projects. The Linux kernel is just one of them. We have no idea how many open source projects in the wild are, are having these exploits in them. It's a real shame. It really is. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, take care. Hey everyone, so today I'm talking about um, this article on the FOSS, uh, okay, FOSS post, um, and my thoughts on it. So it's called, Researchers Secretly, oh god, I'm talking like a freaking advertiser. This is why I don't have, this is why I can't do videos anymore. I've become too self-aware. Hey everyone, so today I'm talking about, uh, about the Linux, about Linux kernel. Um, more specifically, how researchers at the University of Minnesota were able to, 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 oh sh were able to submit faulty comments to the Linux kernel and weren't getting caught. Well, until now. Now they were obviously caught. But the problem was, was that these were not just, you know, just seeing if they would accept bad code. These were actual security exploits that got into major releases of the Linux kernel. And I don't know why they did this. Well, that, no, that's not true. They said that they said that I need a script. <laughs>